welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome first of all i just want to tell you guys happy new year i didn't get to come on here and do like a new year video or even come on i know a lot of you guys subscribe to my channel just because of stella's euthanasia video i want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart just because i really don't have any more cat contact to share with you guys i know that you guys subscribe just because of that video so anyways i wanted to come on here and kind of answer all the questions everybody's been asking me in the comment section and also people reaching out to me and i want to put a disclaimer out there i am in no way a veterinary or a doctor or know anything really about cats my decision of documenting her was just more for educational purposes so let's get into it we just thought you know that was going to be the end of it got her tumors out everything was going to be okay two months later daniel started finding more lungs around the same area where she cut her tumor removed they grew back really quick they were really, really small. They were like the size of a pin tip. It just hurts thinking about it. And they grew into what you see in the videos. And these were the second set of tumors that she had. The first one we removed for her. The comment section, they were like, you could have done more for her. It was hard. You know, putting on her pills, struggling, giving it to her. It was just awful. Ugh, let me get myself together, sorry. But yeah, it was just, it was just too hard on her. What? It would be more hard on her than it is me, even though I have like tears right now. So what happened after we put Stella down? We went through Lap of Love instead of her, her veterinarian service. I was so glad that we went with Lap of Love because she was very comfortable at home. And we got private cremation. So I got her the private cremation, and private cremation is where, you know, she's by herself in the murder. I just didn't want her ashes to be with other pets, you know? So I just wanted her to be privately cremated. So cremation takes about two weeks, but it was actually quicker than two weeks. I think it was about like, maybe a week and a half. It didn't take too long. Um, they actually dropped off her ash at our local vet, uh, which was really, really nice of them because the cremation is like way out there, but they dropped her off. And, uh, and that day I had to work, so Dana went to go pick her up. She came in a little. Build in trust. Uh, and then right here it just says her name. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says her name and the doctor, um, her vet, right in there. And then it comes with uh, a certificate sealed. The real open it because I sealed it. So this is the cremation certificate. Okay, wait, hold on, you guys. I gotta get 
tissue paper. Oh, I didn't want to cry. Deep breath. Here we go. We really wanted something special for, for Stella, like I wanted a special urn for her. So I was searching online and I found a place called Spirit Pieces. They do custom urns. So this was really awesome that I'm so glad that I found it. I want to share this with you guys. I mean, it's a little bit expensive, but I think it's really well worth it just because of the cost. Send in your picture of your cat or your pet, and then they paint it match your pet. I got this urn actually when I was in Michigan, but this is how it looks. I'm so excited, you guys, to show you. It's a little rock, and uh, she's laying on there. She looks just like that. Just look at that, you guys. Like down to her little paws, and her little plaque it says "Well, yes to you." And then her back just looks exactly like Stella, you guys. And her little raccoon tail, super cute. And I wanted to put Stella right inside of there, but it didn't fit. But the inside uh, is pretty lengthy in the inside, just like a solid piece that. I put this out here where um, she usually sits on the windowsill and then this with her ashes I do put next to my bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that was everywhere. Emotional mess. <laughs> I didn't think that I was going to be that emotional. That is it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you do and hopefully you guys subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye!